Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you about the classes that I took this trimester, the courses that show up on my transcript for this trimester, and the exams that I took this trimester because they are all different. Okay, so starting off with the classes that I took with this trimester, I took Karyology Lecture and Karyology Lab, and this is basically the operative type of dentistry. So this is where we do drilling and fillings and learn about class one, class two, class three, all those things. And we learn a lot about materials. So that's the lecture and that's the lab for Karyology. We learn about caries. The next two classes that I took are the dental morphology function and aesthetics class. So that's a lecture and then I also took a lab for it. In this morphology and aesthetics lab, that's where we did all of our waxing and we made all of our casts and we learned a lot about occlusion and just how the teeth should look and aesthetics. It was more of our fun artsy class. We also did a lot of drawing in that class. And then our last class is PBL. So PBL we have Monday and Friday. If you don't know what PBL means, it stands for Problem Based Learning. We had different PBL cases and that's where we learned all of our biological and medical sciences. We don't actually have any lectures on microbiology or anatomy. Actually, we will be taking anatomy this summer, I believe, but we don't have any bio courses like you would expect. So, and then we also had some rotations, but we didn't have rotations every week. So for the classes that I just mentioned, I had those every week. For rotations, I had two clinical rotations already. I had my radiology rotation where I learned how to take x-rays on this like fake person but with real teeth. And then I also had my soft tissue vital signs rotation where I learned how to do an intraoral and extraoral exams and learned how to take blood pressure and just how to get the patient ready. But for those rotations, we don't actually have exams until later. So until probably the end of the year, I'll have a cumulative exam. Throughout the week, we also take some courses that we don't get exams on, but we might get an exam on it later on. Some of the, the extra classes that we have to take are ethics, ergonomics, evidence-based dentistry, cultural sensitivity. These are just like, one day classes that we take that we sometimes have to do an assignment for but it's just one day out of the entire trimester so it's not like an ongoing course so now on the courses that show up on my transcript i only have four courses on my transcript and it's called human structure human function human behavior and clinical dentistry and these courses are going to be the same courses that i have on my transcript until i graduate which is a little bit, when I first saw that I was like, what, this is confusing, but that's how it is. The only thing that changes is the unit. So for this trimester, my structure course is three units, my function course is eight units, my behavior course is two units, and my clinical dentistry course is four units. And then as the years go on, my clinical dentistry course would be a lot more units because I'm basically just going to be doing clinical dentistry. So now, my exams. Which exams did I take? So, I took an MCQ exam, which is a multiple choice question exam. So this is for midterms and finals. I've already taken my midterms. I'll be taking my finals in two weeks. So multiple choice question exam, um, a COMBOT exam, which I still don't remember or know what COMBOT stands for, but it's basically an exam with pictures on it and you have to match the name with the picture. So for example, it'll give you like a lymph node and you have to, I'll ask you, what does this arrow point to? And you have to put down what the arrow points to, or it'll give you a picture of like a face with all the lymph nodes and you have to say which lymph node goes where, or it'll give you like a radiograph and you have to identify structures. So basically just pictures. So MCQ, COMBOT, and then triple jump. So this triple jump exam is composed of three different things. It's composed of, um, the first part of it is coming up with ideas and facts 
and learning needs. So that's basically what you do in PBL. If you end up coming to USC, you'll understand when you come here. So that's the first part. You get an hour to do it. And then you go home and research all of your topics that you wrote down. So they'll give you like a case. It's, it's really confusing right now. Um, and it, it was very confusing the first time I did it too. So then you go home and you look over this case and you research everything about this case overnight. And then the next day at early in the morning, like 9 a.m. or something, after researching all night, you do an, you give an oral presentation on your findings. So that's a triple jump. So that's all, the MCQ, Combat, and Triple Jump, all of those, the information that goes into all of those comes from PBL, the Problem-Based Learning course. The other tests I took were the Karyology Multiple Choice Question Exam, the Karyology Lab Practical, the Dental Morphology and Aesthetics Lecture Multiple Choice Exam, and the dental morphology and aesthetics practical so for the karyology one we basically did a prep and a restoration and then for the morphology one for the midterm we did a drawing and for the final we're going to do a wax up oh let me tell you one more thing how my grade is calculated so for the structure function and behavior courses all of that is made up of my PBL grade so what I get every week in PBL and what I get on the exams for the MCQ, the combo, and the triple jump exams. Those make up, so if I, for example, if I get an 80% on all of those exams, MCQ, combo, and triple jump, I basically get a B for all those classes. Or if I get an A for all those exams, I basically get an A for all those classes if you want to look at it like that. So then my last course that's left is the clinical dentistry one. The grade that goes into that course is the karyology and the morphology and aesthetics course. So yeah, that's a little bit interesting. Gives you an idea of how our grade is calculated a little bit, but I kind of like it because I was basically a little bit confused on how my grade was going to be calculated this entire time. Um, so I just focused on learning and trying to do my best. And in the end, I think it's going to all work out. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. And happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Bye-bye.